Hi, how are you all? Let's see the procedure of drawing a graph. But this is the second part. If you have missed the first part, the link is there in the description box. You must check out that. So in this second part, we will see how to draw the graph of given equation. So let's start. So let us draw the graph of equations. Okay, for that I require this uh, equation. I require the graph paper, the pencil. Here I am not using pencil, I am using a pen so that I can show it you clearly and you have to use a scale and you must have to watch this video completely okay so without wasting time first of all say so these are three equations i have taken you can see these three equations i have taken and i will show you how to draw the graph say now let me tell you uh, take another equation say x plus 7 equal to 0 okay this is another equation so four equations i have taken i'll show you how to draw the graph of this equation but before drawing the graph of this equation you have to make the separate tables for them separate tables how to make those tables see first of all i'm considering this equation x plus y equal to 2 so this equation i can write it like x equal to 2 minus y can you see it let me draw a boundary here okay so x plus y equal to 2 so x equal to 2 plus y will go that side so 2 minus y okay now i will draw a table here okay like this table you have to make so this is x this is y so here i'm going to write all the values of x and here i'll write all the values of y okay so now you have to consider you have to consider the value of y first let us y is 1 okay if i'm taking y is 1 then what is x let me do the rough for you x equal to 2 minus y so 2 minus what is it instead of y i am taking 1 so instead of y i am taking 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 so x is also coming 1 okay so y is 1 x is 1 understood y is 1 x is also 1 in this way now <coughs> if y is 2 okay i am taking 2 so instead of y if i take 2 then 2 minus 2 is 0 so instead of y i am taking 2 so x is 0 understood Fine. If instead of y, if I take 3, say I am taking 3, then 2 minus 3 is minus 1. Okay, so x is minus 1. x is minus 1. And instead of y, instead of y, I have taken 3. So this is 3. Understood? This is the table of the first one. Let us take out the table of the second one. So x equal to, okay, x equal to 5 plus 2y. Okay x equal to minus 2y is going there so 5 plus 2y now again i have to make the table x y you can see i'm making three values three values are enough now same here instead of y i can take one okay if you are taking one let me go to the rough x equal to 5 plus 2y 5 plus 2y why i'm taking one okay one then two ones are two 2 plus 5 7 okay so x equal to 7 instead of y i have taken uh instead of y yeah i have taken 1 and x is 7 got it now instead of y if i take 2 2 to the 4 4 plus 5 9 so instead of y i have taken 2 x is 9 okay now instead of y i am taking 3 okay 3 to the 6 6 plus 5 11 x is 11 instead of y i have taken 3 in this way got it so this table is also run now this one for this one y equal to 0 minus 3x okay y equal to this is 0 3x is going there so 0 minus 3x now 0 minus 3x is only minus 3x okay so y equal to minus 3x now you must be wondering that too. here i'm doing x equal to x equal to and here i'm doing y equal to the reason behind is See here, x and y is free, both are free, okay, with both the alphabet, no numbers are there, like 2x, 4x, no numbers are there. So that's why I can write x or I can write here y, no problem. But here see, x with x, no numbers are there, but with y, a number is there. So which is free? x is free. So I am keeping x and minus 2y, I am taking this side. But here, x is not free, with x, 3 is there, but y is free, only y is there, there is no number. So I'm keeping y. So just what I want to say you that who is free? X and y. Free means with x and y, no numbers are there. Like x, 3 is there. Y, no numbers are there. So y is free. Keep y here. 3x, you take that side. So plus 3x is going there side, minus 3x. So y equal to minus 3x. So let us make the table. 
so this is the table okay x y so x is first take the value of x x is say 1 if x is 1 then 3 was a 3 minus 3 so y is minus 3 x is say 2 okay instead of x take 2 2 3 is a 6 minus 6 so y is minus 6 when x is 2 say x is 3 3 3 is a 9 so y is minus 9 y is minus 9 done now this one See, this is a peculiar equation. Y is not there only. Y is not there. But still, we are able to draw the graph of this type of equations. How? See, x equal to plus 7 will go that side, minus 7. Y is not there. No problem. This type of equations are very easy to make the table. Okay. See how? X, Y. X is what? Minus 7. So, instead of X, write minus 7, minus 7, minus 7. Now, Y is not there. So, you are free to write any values for Y. Okay, any values for y, like you are saying say 2, 3, 4 or 2, 3, 5, anything. Okay, so in this way you can complete the table or you may get like this also, say uh, y minus 4 equal to 0, y minus 4 equal to 0. So how will you draw the, sorry, I will make the table, say table is x, y. Okay, y, equal, y minus 4 equal to 0, so y equal to minus 4 is going that side, so plus 4. Okay, y is 4. So instead of y, write 4, 4, 4. Now x, since x is not there, so you are free. You are free to write. Say 1, 2, 3. Okay. So this way we will make the table. When the tables are ready, now you are going to draw the graphs in these equations. It's very easy. See, I am going to show you the first equation. See how. First of all, the way we have discussed in the first part of this graph, Graph video already first part is there. The link is there in the description box. Uh, there we have seen how to plot this point. First of all, we'll plot this point. 1 comma 1. Okay. 1 comma 1. Here I'm plotting 1 comma 1. See, I've already shown you in the first part of the video. In first part, I shown you this graph. Yeah, this graph paper. And we have drawn all this and we've seen how to plot those points. Okay. So here also we are going to do this. Uh, so 1 comma 1. From here I am starting 1 comma 1 1 x is plus 1 no x is plus 1 so 1 then comma 1 y is also plus 1 so I have to go here okay this is 1 comma 1 you know this we have already discussed in this first part of this video called graph now 0 comma 2 x is 0 x is 0 means from here you are starting x is 0 so you do not have to go this side you do not have to go this side because x is 0 but y is 2 plus 2 so 1 2 so here is this point 0 comma 2 okay don't forget this is the point minus 1 comma 3 so where is minus 1 from here you're starting where is minus 1 this is minus 1 no this is plus 1 from we have to go here this is minus 1 minus 1 then 3 plus 3 why is 3 so 1 2 3 okay this one understood so this three points i've got this three points plotted on the graph paper now let us join them let us join it okay so this is the line that is the name you should give a b so a b is the graph of this equation okay a b is the graph of this equation understood now you must be wondering that i am getting a straight line yes you will also get a straight line for all these equations for all these equations if you draw the graph you will get a straight line if you are not getting a straight line that means you made a mistake two mistakes you might made of like uh, either you are you have made a mistake in making this table or you are making a mistake while plotting this point okay if your table is correct then you might have made a mistake in plotting this point okay check both of that so this is a correction like uh, this is a checking that uh, if this line is not coming straight that means you made a mistake if you, this line is coming straight means full marks got it so the same way you can draw the graph of this equation the way i have shown you or you can show the draw the graph of this equation okay understood in this way this equation also we can draw the graph same way now i will show you that how to draw the graph of this equation and this equation both the equations are same same type okay same type because you understood how to make the table so let me show you this one okay y minus 4 equal to 0 so we got y equal to 4 so this is the table i have got 
so let me draw the graph of this equation now x is 1 y is 4 x is 1 see x is 1 from here 1 and y is 4 so where will go down no this is minus 4 for plus 4 we have to go up so x is 1 from here 1 then 4 1 2 3 4 so this is the point 2 comma 4 1 2 comma 4 1 2 3 4 this point 3 comma 4 from here 1 2 3 comma 4 1 2 3 4 4 okay so this is the graph see again i am getting a straight line okay just name it c d so c d is the graph of this this equation yes this equation so i have shown you first and the last one okay and the same way the way i have drawn this graph the same way you can draw the graph of other three equations so you must try it okay this much for this video in our next video we'll see more complicated graph the link of that part three is there in the description box you can check out that